Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you how to change a watch battery in almost any standard watch. This is the basic watch. It's, uh, it's a cat watch. Nothing fancy. Uh, basic back on it. It has a snap back. So those are pretty simple to take care of. Um, very simple. Anybody can do it at home. A couple basic tools that you need. Nothing fancy. Nothing crazy. Again, this is 99% of most watches, I would say. Um, you know, basic watches all have the same kind of setup. So, tools you need is a basic uh, flathead screwdriver. I like the ones from Sears. Uh, personally, they they stand by the quality and uh, seem to last quite a while, and that's very important. Um, <clears throat> second tool. This is a um, straight flat. Uh, a prior or some sort of tool they use to pop open so what it does is it sticks in the side of the case and I'll show you all this um, and just you twist it and it kind of pops the case open which is nice tweezers if you need them not always necessary um, I usually use a screwdriver but you know tweezers are good to have you never know if you need a pair of good tweezers um, battery and most of these batteries are the 377 I get them online and I'll post a link uh, where to find these batteries at the best price, that's important, and the watch itself. So let, let's start. So we have um, the watch itself, okay? Again, basic watch in uh, stainless steel back um, from China, nothing special. And you just take the tool itself and you find a spot on the side where you can just use your finger and, and your hand together and you just twist it. And as you twist it, it just usually just pops right open. As you can see. Uh, just pops right open like that, like that. So, basic case, nothing fancy. And there's your battery, easily exposed. Okay, as you can see. And I've always learned from these YouTube videos myself that um, instructions are somewhat important, but visual is everything. Um, so to me, to see something always works the best. So, as you can see here, is the um, get this right with the camera. This is the battery that's in here already, and they're very easy to take out. I'll show you that real quick. Yeah, so let's take this. Out. I just, you just pop them right out. There we go. They're not coming right out like that. You can see it like that. That's that. Yeah, little bugger. Okay, so that comes right out. Okay, and you can see that's just the standard opening for the watch. Hopefully, you can see clear. Um, battery again, it's a 377 battery. Um, take that out. Uh, so what I like to do also just make sure it's clean inside. So I'll usually use some compressed air, and we'll blow it out, clean it, make sure there's no uh, dust and debris. Um, and also, on another side note, I do use um, magnifiers to help me see. And these are the, again, got these online, the basic uh, magnifiers. They go on your head um, and make it makes it easy for you to, to see. As well, it has some cool lights on it. <laughs> that was kind of cool, you know. So it's like, uh, so if you need to see at night or whatever, if you want to see detail. Uh, also, closer up, uh, like a jeweler's loop of some sort. Um, so but these work really well, especially if you have a hard time seeing uh, and you get older, uh, which uh, not the best, but whatever. Okay, so back to the battery. So you take the battery, okay, take the battery out, and then usually in like a simple foil, nothing fancy. Oh, okay, and here's the battery, okay, that's real easy. Let's just pop this baby in here and see what happens, okay? So, let's see, so it's a simple opening here, right? And then we just slide it right in. And most of them just slide in. It's, it's not uh, rocket science. It's just, they just pop right in like that. You hear it snap. And there's the new battery. It's in there. Let's see if the baby's running here. Oh, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the mouse is moving. It's a little cat uh, and a mouse. Uh, so the mouse is moving, which is a good sign. <laughs> that means it's working and then we take the, uh, the cap on and some of them have uh, notches to line up 
to the stem of the watch. So I like to just make sure they're lined up properly so the next time I remove it, it comes out fairly easy. Then you just put it back on like that. Make sure everything lines up properly. Yeah, like that, and you snap it. And that's it. That's basically uh, how you change the watch battery. I also pull the stem up when I'm done. Uh, make sure it doesn't run. I was also told that it doesn't really matter if its stem is pulled out or not, but um, I like to keep it out. It doesn't seem to wear it out as fast, I don't know. And uh, basically the band. And uh, <clears throat> so again, let's recap. So we have the, the watch that has been replaced. I use the tweezers sometimes, depending if I need it. This is just a basic tool that you can get anywhere. I'll post also a link where to find this tool. Um, I mean, they remove 99% of the watches pretty much out there. You just get it in the side and just, just pop it over. You can use a regular home screwdriver, but this is a wider blade on it. And what it allows it to do is just to really get under the groove and just you know get between the two pieces of cases. And that's a big, um, some of them have notches. This doesn't have a notch, it's a little bit cheaper watch. Or some have a notch. You can actually get into the notch and just pop them right open pretty easy. Some of them are tough, so you gotta be careful. You can cut your finger. So you gotta be careful with these things. These are pretty pretty sharp. You're getting into the tight. Um, so I always keep it covered. When I'm done, I always discard the uh, the old battery. I recycle them. Uh, I don't throw them in the trash. It's important to recycle these. Um, and then the tools. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I have some other ones coming out. Thank you.